Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mogi Beth. If you don't know um, about me, I'm a full-time reseller on the Poshmark app. I am my own boss, which means I get to work from home, which is where I'm at when I want to, but I also have an office space that I work out of. So today we have a what sold video and I'm just gonna chill by the fireplace and um, sip on green tea with oat milk and tell y'all what sold this weekend. It was a three day weekend. Monday was Veterans Day. So the post office was closed. Um, and so I'm just gonna recount what sold over that weekend. Last time I did a what sold video, I um, also talked about it was during a three day weekend and my sales have increased since that weekend. You know, marginally a little bit. I think last time my sales um, you know, sales total was 930 uh, for the three-day weekend, and this week it was, I think, 1,155. So, you know, we're not where we want to be, but we are on the way. We are going. <laughs> we're not where we want to be, but we are better than where we were before. So, um, we are on the up and up. We are making progress. And that's all we can ask for. So, you know, I'm super happy with some of these sales and some of them I think are great learning lessons. So let's dive into it. Oh, don't you love this fireplace? This is like original tiling um, from 1949. So it's amazing. I'm just really lucky to be able to have such a gorgeous little fireplace in such a gorgeous city. So I love my new house, love my new city. I'm in Portland, if y'all don't know. I moved from Kansas to Portland. It's very, very different, and I just feel really grateful and thankful every day I get to wake up here in this beautiful, beautiful state of Oregon. Anyway, let's get into the what's old video. Okay, so our first sale is, if you guys don't know this brand, put it in your memory. Okay, Hatch. Do y'all know about Hatch? It is a maternity line brand and it is expensive and it's really high quality. Um, and so when women who have money to spend because there are mo people who have money to spend, a lot of people on Instagram are like, who has that kind of money? Yo, people do, you gotta believe it or else who are you, who are you selling this stuff to? Anyway, um, women who are getting pregnant but are used to a certain type of you know quality uh, like this brand a lot. So. I found three pairs of New With Tags Current Elliott Hatch Collaboration Jeans uh, when I went back home for that sourcing trip and they have all sold on Saturday, two of them sold. So um, the first one was a size 30 and it sold for $120 and mind you, these actually most, I think two out of three of these had manufacturer defects so they weren't even in perfect condition. Um, they were New With Tags but um, it sold for $120 and that was an offer. I think I had it listed for $150 and I sent her, I sent a 20% off discount with $1.80 shipping. So super happy about that. Um, I sold the other pair, the last pair I had, which was a size 29 in the same day later for $125 when I received an offer. So y'all hatch, know it, go to the maternity section and thrift store. I haven't found it in the thrift store yet, but, um, I, I've, people have told me that they have and I am, fingers crossed, hopefully gonna find it soon. The next sale was actually from my haul, the last video, which was last week. Remember those Python snakeskin boots that I got in Nordstrom Rack? Gorgeous, so cute. I had them listed for 250 and when I received an offer for 180, I accepted. Um, I probably could have held out for a little bit more. I was really kind of hoping for 200, but 180 was great. It still had a great profit margin. So I got those. I accepted that offer and got those out the door. Um, I talked to the seller quite a bit because she was worried they weren't going to get to her home in time um, because she needed them by Thursday. But I went really early this morning to drop them off at the post office and tracking says they're going to get there by Thursday night. So hopefully, you know, it gets to her before her vacation and um, they're so cute. So I hope she can wear them on vacation. Okay, the next um, sale was a pair of Kenzie gold uh, ankle booties and these are super cute. They have a block heel and I've had them for so long. I think I listed them right after the holiday season last year and really they're just perfect for the holiday season. I mean, they will literally make any kind of holiday look. They would be really cute with the outfit I have on now, um, but 
and they're size six, so I couldn't, <laughs> I'm not a size six. Um, and so I sold this for 38. I think it was also with a discounted, oh no, that was an offer that I received. I think I had them listed for 49 or 50. So I accepted that. Um, and then the next sale was a privacy please dress that I also had for a really long time for some reason. Um, I love this dress, y'all. It is plaid. It has the puff sleeves. It has the square neckline. It is 90s. It is clueless vibes. It is so cute. I don't know why it didn't sell faster. I probably should have relisted it, um, but I didn't. And so I had it listed, I think, I, I probably had it originally for like $100 and then I put, probably marked it down to 65 and then someone sent me an offer for 45 I accepted that person if you're watching great taste you got a great deal love this dress um yeah and then the next sale were, were those current Elliot Hatch jeans that I mentioned earlier and that was Saturday so you know that was a good a bunch of good sales um and I was happy with that I woke up Sunday morning and the night before Saturday night I had um accidentally I was watching TV with my boyfriend and I had accidentally sent 30% off plus free shipping on these Picolinos boot booties and I was like oh my gosh I meant to only send 20% off um I that ugh. does that happen to y'all anyway I was like why but it was fine because my profit margin is still fantastic and someone accepted so I woke up Sunday morning um to someone having accepted that offer and so they sold for $66 plus free shipping. Um, great, beautiful booties. Um, and we both scored in that deal, I think. I think the buyer really scored because I think, you know, Picolinos, I think I probably could have got around like 70s, 80s, but it's fine. I'm happy. And hopefully they are too. Um, okay, so another the next um, sale was a item that I've had for so so long they are these eileen fisher suede convertible booties i uh, not booties boots riding boots i bought these a long time ago um i actually bought these boots when i came to portland to visit for the first time which was over a year ago um i had never been here when my boyfriend and i thought we wanted to move here so we came and visited just to make sure and fell in love and I went thrifting of course. Um, so I found these boots there and I found them and they were at great price. I was like, oh my gosh, Portland's great. These boots are gonna sell immediately and I probably listed them for too high. Um, and they sat, I mean, they accumulated likes but um, I just sold them for $45. So uh, I still made actually good money on them but it just took a really way too long. Um, so happy with the sale but not so happy with how long it took to sale sell so hopefully whoever bought them loves them they're really cute great deal love these boots i love selling eileen fisher shoes okay the next sale was also another dress i've had for quite a bit of time and it sold for full price so you know what I'm happy and I think it's like really the same story as these other ones where I listed it after the holiday season and really this dress is a perfect holiday party New Year's Eve type dress it's a sequenced uh, free people mini dress and sold full price for $50 so good love that um, the next uh, sale was a pair of free people mid-rise skinny jeans and um i sent an offer i've also had these for quite a bit of time i think i sent an offer out for 28 plus discounted shipping and um i received a message from the buyer and she was really really sweet and so um yeah that was a good sale the next was a sale. <laughs> the next was a good learning lesson and if y'all don't i mean gosh i feel like a broken record at this point saying this over and over but old styles of free people don't pick up anymore like just don't i i'm finally getting the message to myself like i'll see it at the thrift pick it up and then i'll take it out of my cart and like put it back <laughs> but this is a guinevere sweater it's this moss green color with uh, metallic in it and it's really um i lost money on this sale y'all i sold it for eight dollars i just frankly i bought it for eight dollars so when poshmark took their you know, $2 um, 
under uh, any sales under $15, Poshmark just takes an automatic $2.95. So it's really not great to sell things for under $15. Like avoid it if you can, um, because $2.95 is more than 20%. Uh, but, um, you know, I've had this for so long and I was just, I needed it to go. Like I just needed it to get out of my closet and recoup some of my losses. So, um, yeah, I lost money on this sale, <laughs> but... Uh, I hope it makes somebody happy because uh, I won't be picking up this brand, Anthropology Guinevere, anymore. And um, I won't be picking up much Anthropology anymore. A video that I have in my brain that I want to do is what Anthropology I do continue to pick up. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, leave a comment down below. Tell me, yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, and I will do it. Um, the next one was also, I didn't lose money on this sale, thankfully, but, um, it's the same, it's in the same vein. It's an Anthropology Dolan tee, really basic. It's a great tee. It's a great top for a lot of things, like especially work. It's just one of those things that's super easy to throw on. It's just super easy to have in your wardrobe. So I hope, um, the person who bought it loves it, but I won't be picking up Anthropology Dolan pieces really anymore unless they're exceptionally special. Um, which I really can't even think of one that is, but yeah, it sold for $10, I think, from an offer. So, um, oh no, no, it was from my Offers to Likers with a $1.80 shipping discount, so. Didn't make a lot of money from that one, but it is off to a new home, which is, you know, good enough. It's not going to landfill, so that's a win. Um, okay. The next one is another brand I'm not picking up anymore. I think on Sunday, yeah, I went through my closet and I sent out a lot of offers to likers on items that I was just hoping to move. And um, some of them I made good money on still, but some of them, you know, I basically kind of just made a little bit. But this one, um, I still made pretty good money. It's a soft surrounding chambray top with these sequin stars in the back. I thought this was sure it was gonna sell so fast because last year's stars were really in and so I was like yeah it's a chambray soft surrounding shirt with stars um I didn't it really sat for a long time and I think maybe because I couldn't find a cover photo I don't know or a stock photo I should say but um someone bought it this weekend for $21 and a $1.80 shipping discount so you know what good enough for me just, I don't pick up soft surroundings anymore and not because it doesn't sell, it certainly does have its place in the reselling market, um, but it doesn't sell for me for a ton of money and it really just doesn't go with the type of, you know, inventory that I personally love to source. So, uh, okay, so the next sale was, I, I talked about this in my last What Sold video, my last Franco Sardo Velvet gray velvet booties, sold these for $35. I think I just like really didn't make much money from this sale. Um, $35 plus discounted shipping. Yes, plus a $1.80 discount, so. Um, that was an okay sale. It was, happy to see it go. I bought it uh, almost a year ago, so. Um, bye Franco Sardo booties. Loved ya, happy to see you go. <laughs> Um, no, they're cute. They're they're really another one that's just perfect for this time of year. So the next sale was in my last haul. It is an Everlane denim skirt um, and a, a black denim cut off mini skirt. Super cute, size 26. I had this listed for $50 because Everlane, okay, so what you need to know about Everlane, it does not retail for much. Like the jeans retail for $65, I believe. So don't really pay up for Everlane. Like don't spend more, certainly don't spend more than like $20. Oh my gosh, no. Um, but, but what I will say is it sells really fast. So I had this listed for 50 and I really wanted to get 40 for it. Someone, I kept getting a lot of offers for like 30 bucks. Um, Someone sent me an offer, I, I forget what it was, but I counted with 39 and they accepted. So um, I was really happy with that sale and it sold really quickly, obviously, because I just talked about it last week. Um, and then the same goes for this next sale, which was a pair of mother jeans. Um, I had, this was in my last haul as well. Um, they were um, size 28. They were in excellent use condition. I had them listed for $100 and 
and someone offered 50. Um, I think I countered with like 80 and then she countered with seven or I don't know. I think I countered with 75. You know, it's like, okay, 75 is my lowest. And then she countered 70 and I was like, okay. I'll go five dollars under <laughs> but um yeah I still make good money and she got a good deal so hopefully she loves those jeans I do like mother still um when they're in really good condition when they're high rise when they are um a newer style so those are kind of my three conditions if they're the type of jean that you think is like in on trend right now you could see people who like fashion wearing these jeans and if you don't know what that is start following influencers on instagram start following people on youtube or into fashion um if you can see them wearing the mother jean that you find pick it up if you can't don't don't especially don't pay up for it like that's really the rule of thumb like really understand what people are looking for <laughs> this just seems really um basic but it's not becoming brand blind and that's i'm gonna go on a little bit of rant here that's what i think is the problem with bolo brand lists and i do them i tell i talk about brands all the time but um don't get so hyper focused on a brand to the point that if you find it on the thrift store you think oh it's gonna be a ton of money yeah i'm gonna pick it up for sure because it could be a low rise printed skinny jean that's just not on trend anymore. And I've fallen into that trap so, so many times. Um, it's not only important to understand brands, but it's also so, so, so important to understand what people are looking for now based on what is on trend, what's in style, what people love right now. And, um, you know, read magazines, follow influencers, you know, there's just so much content available right now. Um, there's really no excuse to not be doing a little bit of research every day. So, um, anyway, rant over. That's my two cents. But, um, these were jeans that I was willing to pay up for in mother. I wouldn't pay up for all mother jeans, but I was willing to pay up for them a little bit because I knew they were something people were looking for because of the style and the wash and etc etc in the condition okay rant over next sale <laughs> uh, the next sale was a jeffrey campbell pair of shabby block hill sandals that i got when i went to phoenix i think it was in that phoenix thrift hall or shoe hall maybe i don't know um i sold them for 60 dollars um, that was, I think, an offer from the buyer that I quickly accepted. I think they were listed for 75 or 79 So this is a good um, style of Jeffrey Campbell shoes that a lot of bloggers wore. And so they sold for good money. And I like Jeffrey Campbell a lot, especially uh, with certain styles. The next sale was also in my haul from last week. Another Everlane purchase, again with Everlane. Uh, it doesn't sell for a time, but it sells really fast. So I found this actually at the Goodwill. And it was a um, cotton v-neck sweater, size uh, large in a heathered gray. Really pretty, really cute, really uh, high quality basic. So uh, I sold that for 35 that was, I had it listed I think for 45 and I was kept sending out offers uh, for 40 with discounted shipping and I think someone countered with 35 so I accepted. Um, the next is another item I've had for a while. I think I listed it at the end of the winter season last year. It is, or in February or something like that. It is um, an Urban Outfitters coat. Y'all, this applies for like maybe in the next two weeks, four weeks. If you find, if you're in the store and you find long tweed wool coats from Urban Outfitters, Zara, Mango, pick them up because they're really selling very quickly right now. Um, unless they have them marked up to oblivion in the thrift store, you know, don't, don't bother with that. But if you find them and they're regularly priced around, you know, $10, $15, um, pick them up especially if they're on trend, which again, if you do your research, you'll know what that means. Um, but it's coats, coats are selling y'all. <laughs> especially really long ones. 
So, um, this was a, um, it, this was like knee length, which is good. A uh, herringbone tweed uh, coat sold for $45. I have had this for a while, but I knew it was gonna sell um, this season and it, it was starting to accrue a lot more interest. So I was thinking about relisting it, but then someone sent me an offer for this this weekend for 45 I think I had it listed at 65 so I went ahead and accepted it and made good money on it so I'm happy about that and then oh, I kind of skipped ahead I, I kind of lost track of where Sunday led into Monday because I only have two more sales but Monday I didn't have a lot of sales I think I just had like I don't know four sales um so which, which was kind of disappointing I was really hoping for a last hurrah on Monday but I think because I didn't list Friday Saturday Sunday um I didn't have any sales, so, uh, or many sales, I should say, on Monday. So, um, the last two sales was, one was a new tag, Avec les filles, I'm butchering the French, with the girls, I think that's what that translates to. I bought this for cheap, so luckily I didn't lose money on it, but I only sold it for $10, so. It's an example of this brand isn't a bad brand I think by any means but this particular style was just not you know something that's worth picking up so um, with this brand it's just try to pick up pieces that are really trendy um, but yeah it sold for $10 and um, yeah bye it's been sitting in my closet for a long time so I was happy to see it go Okay, and then my last sale of the weekend was a pair of new Anthropology Wide Leg Pants. I think I listed these last spring, so these also took a little while to sell. Um, I had them cross-listed over to TradeZine, I think Mercari as well, and they weren't really picking up any traction, but um, I think now tis the season for this type of garment. So um, they sold um, for $39 with discounted shipping. So that was a great sale. And I think they are so cute. I'm so into wide leg pants, culottes, gauchos, all of it. I like forever. I don't think I'll ever not be obsessed with wide leg pants. I just think they're so cute. I'm so about the like whole 70s aesthetic. So um, yeah, love these pants. I hope the new buyer loves them too. Um, okay y'all, so that, those were my sales. Not like extravagant or extraordinary, but I am planning on doing a whatsoever video every week now because y'all have spoken with your views and you like this type of video. Um, and then I'll probably continue to do hauls and hopefully get back to doing some bolo lists as well. If there's any type of content that you're dying to see from me, like I'm really thinking about doing more like personal style videos, like things I buy from my personal closet. I'm thinking about doing, you know, me planning out my week's worth of outfits videos. I want to be on here more. And now I actually, this past week, my boyfriend has started helping me a little bit part time. So um, hopefully, you know, with his help, I can have more time to, uh, post more videos onto the YouTube. So let me know what kind of videos you want from me. I'm just like, I need to get motivated. I need to get traction. I need to get some, you know, wind under my sails. <laughs> um, how about, and also let me know how your sales weekend was this weekend. I mean, I think I would rate, I would grade this like a B plus, A minus, you know, for the amount of work I've been doing and for, you know, my past uh, sales and I, Hopefully next weekend will be better and hopefully it'll be just on the up and up and up and up and up. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, well, I will talk to y'all in the next video. Love y'all, have a fabulous, fulfilling, productive, meaningful, fantastic day. All right, love you, bye. It is what so time, what so time. What soul time? What soul? Who knows? I know. I'm gonna tell you.